What's up YouTube? So today Vagabond Bills is coming at you with the 2022 Cadillac XT6 400. Now this is the premium luxury package and we're gonna be doing a review of the exterior, interior, and some specs about the car. But before we start, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you have a car you want us to review, here's an email below. You could email us, we'll talk details later. And a special, special shout out to reliable Cadillac GMC and Buick here at the Roseville Auto Mall in Roseville, California, right outside of the Sacramento area. Let's start. So starting off on this beautiful front end of this 2022 Cadillac XT6 400. Now it is the premium luxury package, so we're gonna be seeing some differences. But starting off with the front grille, you have that nice metallic silver trim. With the interior side of that grille, it is gonna be black gloss, silver front on that front surface. Cadillac emblem, like every manufacturer, stamps that emblem right on the front, letting you know what car you're driving. Satin gray metallic color on this exact car. You do have different color options. Coming over to the headlight, full LED headlight, a lot of character, metallic silver trim with that black gloss uh, housing on the headlight. To match, you're gonna see how this trim, it comes together on this Cadillac. Now that black gloss trim also here next to the fog lights and the daytime running light bars, metallic silver down, and black gloss trim on this lower bumper cover with finishing off on that metallic silver. So it all comes together, very nice, beautiful, classy elegance. When you look Cadillac, you think rich, right? Coming over to the side, these are the 20 inch alloy six spoke rims. You will have different rims on different packages. You get the 18s, the 20 inches, and the 21 inches on specific packages. You have the platinum package, sport package, and all that good stuff. This exact package does have the adaptive air suspension, so making the ride a whole lot more comfortable and luxurious while driving. Now, you also will have on specific packages, Brembo brake, calibers you don't have it on this one but just keep an eye out for that continuing cadillac stamp right here on the back side of this fender very nice trim same color trim you don't have that uh, black plastic trim so that's very cool i'm a fan of that coming over to the side mirror now this side mirror is fully equipped with heated side mirroring lane assist blind spot assist automatic electrical side mirrors with that integrating uh lighting marker you do have the 360 camera, bird's eye view on this package. Now, kind of chrome look around the window with that black gloss in the middle to match the rest of the trim. It all comes together, that Cadillac does. Of course, you do have your nice metallic kind of flat silver look with the satin uh, gray metallic on the in interior part of this handle. One trim on the door, you do have that chrome or matte metallic silver trim with that XT6 integrated into that trim, letting you know which package you have. A pretty minimalist look, classy, That I'm a big fan of that. Coming over to the rear, of course, you do have your gas lid right here. No more gas caps, loving that. Nice big chrome trim on that back window. Continuing LED tail lights, very nice that you do. I'm a big fan of the switch over from the halogens to the LEDs, just brighter and just a nice, more rich, beautiful look. XT6 stamped on the driver's side of the tailgate, letting you know which package you have. Now this does come in the all wheel drive. I would tell anybody, get the all wheel drive because you will not regret it. Markers integrated in the back bumper cover, standard bumper sensors on the back bumper along with the front. I forgot to mention that, and the metallic silver trim with the black gloss trim. Dual exhaust tips on this XT6, kind of a nice chrome metallic silver, very cool. And they finish off this bumper with the same color as the car. Very nice, kind of just trim splitting that two colors. Very cool. You got your Cadillac emblem, beautiful. Nice little spoiler coming up, two-tone spoiler, black gloss with the color of the car brake light integrated into the spoiler. And that brings us on the inside of the car. By the pushing, well, not, I'm not even gonna push the button, but this is hands-free. And it opens automatically. So for all the people that wanna enter their trunk space with their hands full, goodness, that is a great option to have. Now this is a seven row midsize 
SUV, very cool. But let me show you something that's even more cool on this backside is you can drop these third rows by an electrical button. And you're not, you don't have to pull any handles, but also you do uh, have the option to drop that second row by the push of these buttons. Now for the sake of the video, I'm not going to do that, but you would just push them down. They don't come up, but they go down. The back row, the third row seats do come up with the pushing of the button. Now, lifting this lever here, a lot of personal space. If you do wanna put backpacks or things of that sort in here, silver kick plates right here, more cubby space, integrated plugins, 12 volts, hooks for all your bungee, cores if you want to hook something let's put these seats back up show you that and pretty simple straight to the point on the back space or the trunk space now let's go ahead and close this lid so if i just kick my foot there well and the car is going to allow you to know that this tailgate is going to be closing soon and that tailgate does close so it's very convenient so that pretty much uh, finishes up or wraps up with the exterior of the car. Let's go ahead and head in over to the interior. So now we're sitting on the interior part of this 2022 Cadillac XT6 400. What do we see first? Let's go ahead and start the car. But you do see that this Cadillac is rich, classy elegance. When you see Cadillac driving down the road, that's what you think. But of course you have this very nice kind of cream color. It is called Cirrus with black accents. You do get options in the colors, black and all that good stuff. If you go look to buy, tell them Vagbomb Build sent you. But of course, starting off with the door panel, you have your typical control unit for your windows, side mirrors, up to two stage memory for these eight way adjustable power seats that you get on this car. Nice Bose cover. This does come with a 14 speaker integrated premium sound Bose. Now you do have the option to get an eight speaker premium sound package, but this one has the 14 with the navigation. Beautiful, top of the line on this premium luxury. Nice kind of black, woody, uh, I would say um, glossed out trim pieces on the dashboards, door panels, all around the car. Kind of a nice gray leather feel on top of the center console. A lot of cubby space here. Coming over to the steering wheel. It is gray with the gray stitching, metallic silver trim with that kind of black woody um, gloss look. Cadillac here on the steering wheel. And you do have your manual buttons as standard that you get to control that cluster. The cluster is manual, so you do have your tachometers. Uh, the needles are manual, so it's not digital. On the center part, you do have digital, so you can see what the car is doing by the controls right here of these wheels. And you can change to the music, demo mode, and all that good stuff coming down, and you switch that. So you would just have to tinker around with it if you're looking to buy the car. On the left side, parking button, of course, and your dimmable option for your dashboard. Look at the vents. Nice metallic trim with that black gloss. So not only that the inside matches the out, but the out matches the in. Black gloss trim around. Coming over to this eight inch infotainment screen. You get that in uh, all the packages, standard, touch sensitive. And of course, lane assist. You do have the pedestrian assist, crash assist, crash warnings, and all that good stuff. Not gonna go through the tech package, but it all comes equipped on this Cadillac. Nice gray dashboard with the speakers integrated into the dashboard. Heads up display on this dashboard. Manual settings for your uh, tri-zone heating and air on this car. You do get the heated seats in the front. You can just push up and down on your temperature, on your vents and all that good stuff. Just to kind of show you a little bit about that. Coming over to the cup holders. Kind of thin, kind of smaller. I would have liked to see this, some bigger cup holders, but they are deep. So your cups, your cans are not toppling over. You do have this lid to cover to finish off that look. Traction control and your mode switches for the terrain that you're driving are right here on the center console. You do have a wheel to control the infotainment center with your music navigation all right here. Let me show you that turns into full navigation. Very nice black gloss with the metallic silver trim on this shift knob to match the rest of the trim. 
let's go ahead and pop this open. Boop. You gotta have to push that in right there. But you do have the wireless charging pad on your phone right here. So let me go ahead and pull out my phone and show you guys. That slips in. Pretty convenient, very nice spot. But personal space with a removable tray, you get up to six USB plugins in this car, USB-C and USB-A, so you're not fighting for plugs. With the little LED lighting on the interior side, pretty cool. Standard glove compartment on this car. Again, remember the trim, very nice. I want you guys just to kind of get a, an idea and the beauty of this car and the elegance of Cadillac. Perforated leather on this serious leather color. Finishing off kind of a nice um, bucket seat, letting you know it does have this nice emblem integrated into the back rest seat. Buttons for the headrest are on the side to lift this up. And coming over, you do kind of have the microfiber suede up top for that ceiling panoramic glass that the second row gets that experience to look up. Very cool. Standard sun visors, but that pretty much concludes the front side of this car. Let's go ahead and help head over to the back. Now on the back end, we have the bench seats that match the front. But before I forget that I wanted to show you guys something is that these kick plates or door sill trims do have the Cadillac emblems uh, located on the door sill. So pretty cool. Standard cup holder and armrest. Nice cup holders, deep, a little bit bigger so your cups and cans aren't toppling over. Something I wanna show you guys, on the 60% and 40% seats, and the way they uh, function, you do have the levers up top near your shoulder. That kind of pushes forward, and you can push this bench forward to get to the third row seating, but that's the 60%. Let's push that back. You do get different angles on that back of the seat, and you do have a lever on the, back of the bench, or I mean on the side of the back bench, and that lever drops it completely down. So you have the option when you wanna connect that trunk space over to the second row seating to drop that down by this manual lever. Push that up for now. And this seat's a little bit different because if I pull this lever, it does a bunny hop forward. Just like that, and it opens up space for anyone to get to that third row seating. So a little bit different from the 60 percenter. Back of the center console, again, you do have the tri-zone, like I said, from the front. This is an on and off button. Nice little metallic silver trim with Cadillac in it. Very nice, elegant, classy. And you can control your back temperature for the back of this car. Sorry, let's turn that back on, but pretty straight to the point. USB-C, USB-A hookup with some cubby space. Very nice, can fit quite a bit, a lot of personal items in that. Nice personal pockets on the back of the seat. Four more personal items and your oh shiznit handle with some reading light. Let's go ahead and head over to the third row. I'm going to just bunny hop this forward. Something I want to remind you guys on is not only that you have buttons for the third row seating in the back, but you also have them here. So I can drop that seat from the second row area and you can pick that up and it is all electric, which is a very cool feature to have on these mid-size mid SUVs. Let's check this out. Now you can maneuver this. Let's bendy hop this forward for the sake of the video. Now head clearance. Pretty good, uh, that drop in the back right here does kind of hit me. I am six feet, two inches, so I do touch that top of that ceiling. But for the kiddos, you can throw them back here, be great. Cup holders, USB-C hookup, so nobody's fighting for USB ports. And pretty straight to the point on this one. You got that nice kind of matted carpet look on the back end and right in front of you. No personal pocket space, but legroom is very good. I like it being six feet and two inches. You could also uh, maneuver these seats to uh, go forward to uh, increase or maximize your leg room on this third row seating. But we're pretty much done and concluding that uh, of the interior. Let's go ahead and talk some specs about this XT6. So some specs about this car, they do come in the 3.6 
and also the 3.0, but this exact one is the 3.6 V6 VVT motor. It comes about 310 horsepower with 271 foot-pounds of torque. This exact model tows up to 4,000 pounds. You get it in an all-wheel drive, or you have the option of a front-wheel drive, but my best advice to you would be get the all-wheel drive. Some MPG is 18 city, 25 highway with a 21 combined. So guys, we're pretty much done with our review, but let me know what you feel on this midsize SUV. I'm a big fan and it is a beautiful midsize SUV out on the market. But thank you so much again for coming over and watching our channel Vagabond Builds. Stay tuned, we got some pretty cool things coming.